information for you to know what's been happening to me. Or what you call it, just before the Christmas. Okay? Mm. So I was speaking to our local postman. And he says to me, Santa, he says, you're not the Pope not a lot of weight. I said, I know, I've had a lot of me play. <laughs> Mrs. Claus said to me, she said, Santa, what would you like for Christmas? I said, I'd love something that goes from not to 180 in two or three seconds. So she bought me a weighing scales. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, it's time to get me own back. She said to me, Santa, she said, we've been married a long time, she said, long time. She said, how old do you think I look? Well, I said, you have skin like a 23-year-old. I said, your hair is like a 25-year-old. And you have a figure like a 28-year-old. And she went like this to me. Oh, thanks very much, she said. I said, I'm not finished. I haven't added them up yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, I got a phone call from a friend of mine. I don't know whether any of you know him. His name is Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump phoned me there during the week. And he said to me, Santa, he says, I'm after decorating the tree in the White House this year myself. He said, and I've done a great job on it, a great job on it. Now you know that, I'm very modest. <laughs> a great job on it, he said. But he says, Santa, he says, I have a problem. A big problem, he says. Every day the White House staff see, keep saying to me, do you want extra stuff put on the tree? And I said, why is that? He said, well, every day they come up to me and say, moron, moron. <laughs> Theresa May, Theresa May, good friend of mine. She said, what are you saying, She said, if you think it's chinny up in the dark pole, she said, you want to try it down here in Westminster? <laughs> and she said, now, Santa, she said, for Christmas, she said, I'm remodeling my house, she said. I'm remodeling the house, she said, and for Christmas, I'd love a new cabinet. <laughs> Now, because of me and we had things were a little bad during the summer up on the North Pole. Things were a bit bad. And I had to put two of my favourites up for sale. Cupid and Donner had to go up for sale. Aww. I know it's terrible. I put them up on eBay. Okay, but nobody bid on them. People said to me, what you call it? The reason they didn't bid is because they were too dear. <laughs> <laughs> Have we any coal in the bag? No, no coal. No. Okay, I'm going to check with my two elves here. Birds. <laughs> okay. The tall one, what you call it, the good looking one, what you call it, he's a terrific singer. And up at the North Pole, we call him Elphus. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, uh. And the really rather intelligent looking one here, the young intelligent one. <laughs> He discovered the elf language and he's known as Alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to give out a few prizes. So the elves are going to help me out here. Who we got for us? Who we got for us? Who was the lucky lad? Who was the lucky lad? Who was the lucky lad? Who was the lucky lad?